At the time of making this video, the full self-driving option for Tesla is a $7,000 option, but Elon Musk has recently tweeted that this will go up to $8,000 starting June 1st. So that begs the question, is this option worth $8,000? So right now, Tesla's autopilot is split into basic autopilot and full self-driving. Those are your two options when it comes to adding any kind of self-driving features to your car. Since February 27th of 2019, basic autopilot has been included with every new Tesla purchase. Tesla says autopilot enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane. And within its lane is a pretty key part of that description. Basic autopilot is essentially adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. I've got basic autopilot on my car, so when I engage autopilot, it will keep me in my lane and speed up and slow down based on traffic and the speed limit. But if I wanna switch lanes, I do have to disengage autopilot make that lane switch by myself and re-engage that autopilot system. Now, if you want to add that full self-driving option, you'll get the following features. Navigate on autopilot, which is automatic driving from highway on ramp to off ramp, including interchanges and overtaking slower cars. So basically, once you get on the highway, your car will take you from on ramp to off ramp, doing all the lane changes and all of the interchanges for you. And that includes auto lane change, which is automatic lane changes while on the highway. It also includes auto park, which will do both parallel and perpendicular spaces. Summon, so your parked car will now come find you in the parking lot, but it also includes the regular original version of summon that will move your car forward and backward. Along with those features, they've just added traffic light and stop sign control, which will do assisted stops at traffic controlled intersections. So the question is, are all of those features worth $8,000? And there's a couple ways to look at that. So first we can look at it from the market perspective. Something is only worth what people will pay for it on the market. So will the market pay for this $8,000 full self-driving option? And the market in this case being Tesla buyers, and so far the answer is yes. People have been spending $7,000 on this option to add it to their cars, and I see no reason that $8,000 will be that big of a difference to deter people from buying this option, especially if they're already spending so much on a luxury Tesla vehicle, that difference is not that big. Next, we can look at it from the technology perspective, and I think full self-driving is a complete steal at $8,000 if you just look at all of the technology it has. Millions of dollars, thousands of man hours, tons of years of experience have gone into creating this autopilot full self-driving system. And the fact that you can get that for just $8,000 bundled with your car is pretty incredible. Lastly, we have to look at it from the personal perspective. If you're considering buying full self-driving for your car, then you need to consider, are all of those options included with full self-driving worth it for you? If you're someone that has a really long commute on a lot of highways, or maybe you're just somebody that has to have the latest and greatest technology and software from Tesla, then full self-driving might be a good option for you. I personally did not buy full self-driving just because I have a really easy commute right now. It's mostly on back roads, and I figured that money was better spent putting a bigger down payment on my car. And this is always a software feature that I can add later, although it is at an ever-increasing price. And that's a whole other part of this argument over the value of full self-driving. When you buy full self-driving, you're buying it for life. It stays with the car, so when you upgrade to full self-driving, you're not just paying for the current features it provides, you're also paying for the promise of a full self-driving car at some point in the future. That means any upgrades that may come in the future are included with your original purchase. So if you look at it that way, you might be getting an absolute steal by buying full self-driving at its current price, but you also have no idea if or when full self-driving is going to materialize, and it's very difficult to put a value on something that doesn't exist yet. So my advice if you're considering buying full self-driving is to think about how much value it will add to your life at that current sticker price. Like I said earlier, if you are somebody that is doing a lot of driving or wants that most up-to-date software from Tesla, then go for it. And if you think that full self-driving is gonna be a reality, in the time frame of owning your car, then full self-driving is an absolute steal right now. But if you're like me and don't need all of those extra features right now, basic autopilot is good enough and that money is probably better spent elsewhere.